doing? What? Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. So? That's like putting your whole mouth right in the dip. Look, from now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it. Well, I'm sorry, Timmy. But I don't dip that way. Oh, you don't, huh? No. You dip the way you want to dip. I'll dip the way I want to dip. Give me the chip! Hey, hey, hey! You know that moment when you wonder, should I eat some of the stuff from that communal bowl? Or has someone's fingers already been in at this sugar, pepper or salt? Well, it was the time when I saw a customer at a cafe put a sugar spoon into their mouth and return it to the bowl that freaked out my inner germaphobe. Now I've worked in hospitality for many years and I've seen enough cafes to know that sugar, salt and pepper are often left on the tables for anyone to use all day long. Now these foods are often contaminated by double dipping spoons, which have already been sucked or used to stir their coffees before they make the fateful double dip journey, as you saw with George. The solution to stopping my inner germaphobe freaking out is this amazing product called Splid. A solution with so many awesome applications. Firstly, it's a lid. And this means that foods such as sugar, salt, pepper, spices, in fact, any dry food, it can have a lid on it whilst it sits on the table. Sneezing and talking over them, no problem. The lid is doing its job. Secondly, and this is where this little device is different to anything else in the world. It has a spoon cleverly designed to sit alongside the lid and act as the communal spoon, delivering sugar to the cup. And as it's connected to the lid, people are not naturally inclined to then stir their coffee with it. They'll pick up their provided spoon instead and stir with that, as it should be. And it's this obvious simplicity that makes the split a spoon with a lid, so beautifully unique. Split is also designed to be used to measure out spice products, as the spoon is a metric teaspoon, so you can store long-term foods, such as curries, spices, and seeds, then simply unscrew the airtight split, use, and reseal. Every kitchen, whether domestic or commercial, will find a use for a split.